So the election's right around the corner, and SourceFed asked us to post up videos about the issues that mattered the most to us, and I figure I might as well. So right off the top of my head, the first issue that comes to mind is gay marriage, because it seems to be the least skewed of the issues that's put on display right now, because Obama is directly in, in support of it, and Romney is against it. He said that he supports gay rights, but he wants to protect marriage, which... For me, giving them something that is separate but equal is not enough, okay? That's the whole reason, well, not the whole reason, part of the reason the whole civil rights movement happened is because, yeah, they had the same stuff, but it wasn't the same stuff, and people treated them differently because of it, and that's the whole point. You need to get everybody treated the same way and accepted. I live and grew up in California. I have several gay people in my family. My brother is gay. He is the most hilarious guy on the planet. I don't understand how anybody would be able to hate him. Here's his YouTube channel. Go check it out. It's amazing. I went to a pretty accepting high school. I was in musical theater. Several of the guys were out and gay, and it was okay. And I just don't understand how anybody could not want to give them this right. Speaking of musical theater, another issue that's really big for me is the arts and education, because I know that Romney, as part of his whole budget balancing plan, is going to cut the arts, and that is a big issue for me, because I, like, halfway through high school, most of my friends from middle school that I had pretty much been friends with my entire high school career, like, I don't really think I was friends with anybody else until these guys left, uh, just transferred to other schools for various reasons, and I would have been left by myself if I didn't have uh, drama to fall back on. I got so many new friends from that, and I'm usually so awkward when I'm talking and socializing with other people, so if I didn't have drama, I don't know where I would be, and it was a really big thing for me, and I really don't think that we need to take more money out of our high school, our, our high school schools, because, like, my, my senior year, they fired, like, two teachers, and we still had a shortage of paper and copies, and it's just crazy to think that Education, which is something that is so important, just doesn't seem to be a big issue for people, and it should be. Also, I'm in college right now, and I don't want to get out of college and have a bajillion dollars in debt. I realize that my major is not one that's going to guarantee me a job in the future, and I want to know that at least using my major and my bachelor's degree to secure me maybe an unrelated job will still end up eventually getting me enough money to pay off that debt. I get that the interest isn't that bad, but I don't want to have it on my back for my entire life. So, that is another big issue for me. I'm not going to pretend like I know what's going on with the economy. There's so much he said, she said stuff going on. It's like each of them are just poking fun at each other and no real information is getting out about it. So, I'm not going to try and pretend like I know how the economy is going to turn out. I'm not going to try and base my vote on that because it just seems so convoluted right now. I'm not going to pretend like I know what's going on with the economy, okay? There's so much he said, she said stuff going on. I really don't know who's best suited to run it, so uh, I'm not going to really listen to any arguments about who's best to run it because it's. It, I don't know how anybody can be certain right now with all of the name calling and the finger pointing and it's just crazy. I'm just going to trust that America is a great nation. It has been since it was created, and it's been able to pull through anything. I mean, we've been through the Great Depression, so I'm pretty sure that it doesn't matter who gets elected, somehow, some way, we're gonna pull through any challenge that, that that's thrown at us, and that's just how I think. The main, the main things I'm voting on are the clear-cut issues, like I said, gay marriage, education, uh, protecting our national parks, stuff that they, that the candidates have taken a stance on. It's the reason I'm voting for Obama, not because I think that Romney is some big corporate guy who just wants to make money and suck all of the money out of America for himself. I don't really like to sensationalize people like that. Like, yes, I'm supporting Obama, and yes, it uh, what Romney does annoys me sometimes, but I don't like it when my family, who's majorly Democratic, I don't like, you know, getting into a big round table and hearing insults about Romney pass around because it just gets on my nerves, you know? I don't want to vote for somebody because of the stances on issues that they have, not because of the things that I think that they are as a person. Like, I don't want to listen to anybody who says I shouldn't vote for Obama because he's a communist or because he wasn't born in America. No, I, I shouldn't want to vote for Obama or not want to vote for Obama because of the stances he takes on issues. You can tell me all you want that Obama might be lying about all the stuff that he says he supports, but it doesn't make Romney support it anymore, or like, at least anymore publicly. It doesn't 
make compel me to vote for him anymore. And I am positive that throwing around insults about Romney does the same thing. I'm not swaying voters. That's not how it, that's not how it works. No, no candidate's perfect, okay? I understand Obama has his flaws. The whole Fast and the Furious thing that happened, yeah, that made me a bit suspicious. It, w it should make anybody a bit suspicious, but nobody's perfect. Everybody has their secrets. I'm sure Romney has his own secrets. But like I said, it's the issues that matter. You can point fingers and name call and do whatever and try and magnify each candidate's imperfections as much as you want, but really, at the end of the day, what you should be voting for is the issues. And how you think their stance on their issues will best prepare them to run our country. And that's how I'm voting, that's how I hope everybody else is voting, and those are the issues that matter the most to me. I'll see you next time when I'm playing video games again or something and talking about something way less serious and unfun to talk about. Later! What's happening? What's happening? Is the robot alive? Oh god, the robot's alive! The robot is alive! Oh my god! Whoever played Umbridge for Harry Potter, I hated her! And that's like the whole goal of Umbridge is to have you passionately hate her.